Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, May 16th. I'm James Spann. A very humid air mass stays in place in coming days. That means at least scattered showers and storms. And like yesterday, some spots could see heavy amounts of rain with those stronger storms. But a lot of things are going on outdoors, so many questions about the weather. So let's see if we can answer them. This is the big picture early this morning. This is the weather about 18,000 feet off the ground where the pressure is 500 millibars. And you can see the weakness in the ridge down here. That's that little feature in the northern Gulf of Mexico, the main westerlies, the main storm track across North America well to the north. There was a radar early this morning at 5.03. Uh, rain falling in parts of northwest Alabama, rain falling in parts of southeast Alabama. And uh, we'll see those things firing up again today during the heat of the afternoon. Mostly 60s this morning. High should be in the 80s in most spots around here today. That's a watch warning map. Pretty quiet start to the day. Here's the severe weather outlook. Much of the country showing in green. Green means the chance of thunder, but no organized severe weather. There is a marginal risk to the west of here. Tomorrow we stay in the green. Got a marginal risk across the western high plains. The standard slight risk over parts of western Nebraska. And pretty much that same area with a chance of severe weather on day three, which is Friday. And again, we're in the green. That means some thunder, but no severe weather problems expected. Roll the uh, uh, satellite view of the disturbance in the Gulf, and it's very disorganized. And, and the odds are very high this will not develop into a tropical or subtropical storm, but it will certainly help to feed the deeper moisture in here in the short term. NHC with only a 10% chance of this becoming a tropical storm over the next five days, and odds are very high that it won't. But rain, yeah, uh, this is the uh, rain for the next seven days. Bigger numbers on the Atlantic coast from uh, Key West and Miami, all the way up to the Jersey Shore. In Alabama, the amounts between one and two inches for the next seven days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And I do think that the uh, we can maybe lower the coverage of the showers a little bit, at least uh, Friday and Saturday. In fact, let me roll the, uh, before we look at modeling uh, from the GFS, this is the high-res NAM. And this is precipitable water. And notice that the model wants to bring in slightly drier air from the west by Friday. And it sure looks like the showers could be fairly fewer in number uh, Friday and Saturday. Still no doubt a chance of rain, but maybe not as many showers and storms about. So here's the GFS, the big picture. 06E run, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Broad troughing around here. And uh, like yesterday, warm, humid scattered showers and storms most of them this afternoon and early tonight we'll say in from two until midnight highs in the 80s same thing tomorrow a mixture of clouds and sunshine scattered showers and storms highs mostly in the 80s but again friday the coverage will probably decrease a bit as slightly drier air is pulled in from the west We'll mention widely scattered showers and storms, partly sunny with upper 80s. And really the same thing on Saturday. Uh, we might see some spots touching 90, partly sunny with showers and storms possible, but fairly widely scattered. I think a decent part of the day will be dry. So the models have clearly trended a little drier for Friday and Saturday. And so many things happening outdoors. And that's good news. But again, even on Saturday, there could be a storm. They'll just be fairly scattered, uh, widely scattered. And Sunday, evidence moisture levels will rise a little bit with storms maybe a bit more numerous. We'll go to next week. This is Monday and Tuesday. We'll have scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. We say that almost every day in summer, and we're kind of lapsing into a summer pattern. Here's a week from today. A ridge here. Again, uh, partly sunny. A few scattered afternoon storms. Just like summertime. We'll go out 10 days. Friday of next week, the 25th. Again, the main westerlies in Canada. That looks pretty dry and quiet. And the GFS tries to form a tropical low near the Yucatan Channel. And oftentimes those things don't happen 
The GFS wants to put those things down almost every run out in the 10 to 15 day range. And most of the time, they never show up in reality. And the models are all over the board with these numbers. This is the GFS, and it's got 90s. This is the European, and it's got 80s. And the truth, I think, is somewhere in between. Uh, we'll probably see upper 80s on most days through the weekend, but no doubt some spots may be touching 90, especially next week as the ridge gets stronger. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.